Hello chess fans, this is Rick from chess to progress with number 28 in the series Viewers Games. This one is from Sweden. Hi, my name is Manne. This is a game I played as Black. I would love if you could give some feedback on it. It is daily chess, so no time pressure. What Manne means is that uh, the game was played with a time control of 24 hours for each move per player. Love both of your channels, with regards Manne. Let's have a look at Mana's game. It was played on chess.com and the white player is like Brando and black is our hero Mana. e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, c3, knight f6 and bishop d3. I talked before in this series about talking to your pieces and I think if you talk to the bishop on f1 then it will tell you it does not want to go to d3. It's standing in the way of the d-pawn. There might be an idea with dropping the bishop back to c2 and then let the d-pawn through, but that's not what white plays in this game. Bishop c5 from Mane developing both players castled. b4, bishop back to b6, h3, d6, bishop b2, and h6 from Mane. And this, this is maybe a little pointer, Mane. It's not clear to me what this move, move does. White is not really threatening to bring anything to g5, which you should be worried about. And then h6 is really an unnecessary move at this time. It's not a bad move, but I don't really see why you play this move. Knight a3 from white and a6 and I could make the same comment as on the previous move. Why did you play a6? What is the purpose of that move? A more sensible move to me at least looks bishop e6. Then also h6 has a purpose because then there will not be a knight coming to g5 harassing that bishop. So bishop e6 looks to me a more logical move than a6. Game goes on, b5, a takes b5, and bishop takes b5. White forgets that now his pawn on e4 is unprotected. Taking with the knight is better, and then black has a very nice position after, for example, bishop e6. The open a file is nice for black. After bishop takes b5, Mana did, Mana did not take on e4, he played knight e7. And the bishop went back to d3. And again, white, you should talk to your pieces, that bishop does not want to go to d3. Rook e1 would have be, been a more sensible move, that rook would have told you that it wanted to go to e1. Or just pushing the pawn in the center with d3 would have been a good move. After bishop d3, Mana played bishop e6, good move, c4 from white, and bishop d4. Now white could have cut equality with knight takes d4, e takes d4, and knight b5, threatening to take on d4. Then Mana would have had to play c5, and this is an equal position. But white took with the bishop, and Mana did not take back, he took the unprotected knight on a3. And now it looks very very good for black, because two white pieces are hanging, both bishops are hanging, but white is very lucky that he has a move to solve both those problems in one go. He could have played bishop c3, and now both bishops are safe. But White panicked, he did not see that he could solve his problem. He thought he was going to lose a piece, and he decided to get a pawn for it. He took on e5, double question mark. Mana took the piece, white saved his bishop, bishop e2, but now the pawn on e4 is unprotected and was taken by Mana. Knight takes e5. And there comes the queen into the game, queen d4, knight f3 kicking the queen, 
Queen back to f6, g4, knight g6, queen c1. Black was already winning with his extra piece, but this move makes things even more easy because now Mana took on f3, bishop takes, and queen takes. Wins a bit more material, wins two pieces for the rook, but more importantly, it has broken down the defense around white's king. It has eliminated two defenders. Queen c2, knight h4, threatening checkmate on g2, and really the only way to stop checkmate in one move is queen takes e4, giving your queen. I'll show you the remaining moves. Of course, Mana took the queen, f3, knight takes, rook takes, queen takes, white plays on till the end, rook f1, queen g3 check, king h1, bishop took pawn, attacking the rook, the rook went to g1, and here Mana could have played Queen takes h3, checkmate. Mate in one move, but he decided to give mate in two moves. Bishop d5, check. Rook g2, only move, and queen takes g2 was checkmate. Good game from Mana, healthy play, developing the pieces. And yes, maybe those h6 and a6 moves were not necessary, but they didn't do any damage either. Healthy play from Mana, and he picked up the pieces when white made mistakes. Thank you Mana for sending me this game. Hope you enjoyed Mana's adventure. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the Chess 2 Progress channel. Please leave a comment. And, and if you liked the video, it would be great if you could share it on social media. You also may want to check out my Chess 2 Impress channel. The link is in the description box. This is Rick from Chess to Progress. Thank you very much for watching.